Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212. And I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Greetings, all. Okay, so we saw the trailer to Daddy's Home 2. Now, that is the one movie I never got to see the first one. Sharon saw it already. I got to probably get it. One uh, until this. You never saw the first one? No, I. Because I didn't even knew there was a two until I saw, like I said. But I saw this trailer today, and I'm like, Mel Gibson as Mark Wahlberg's father and John Lithgow? That looked pretty damn funny. Yeah, it did. So I'm definitely interested. I'll probably, I'll probably rent it on demand if they have it on demand, and I'll try to catch the first one. And then um, also there was this thing that I shared the other day on Facebook about Dodgeball. Yes, where, yes. How good do they look? How funny, oh, right? Oh, that looks awesome. I They're going to do awesome. another one. They're going to do another one, I heard. If you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a ball. But the, you know what the weirdest thing is? The girl was Ben Stiller's wife, right? The one that's on the other team. They just got a divorce, so they get in the divorce. So that little crack back and forth, yeah. that was kind of serious a little bit. That was weird. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you. So I'm interested in Dodgeball, too. I own Dodgeball. Yes. It's a great, great movie. Um we have news with The Walking Dead that our Michonne there had just got a job to reprise her character from Black Panther in Avengers. Oh, nice. Well, here's the thing. Will she have to get killed off in The Walking Dead? Because I don't think so. I no? Don't, no. No. It's, they probably are going to work around her schedule. Okay. It, or they'll probably wait until, like, okay, you're, The Walking Dead is on hiatus, so we'll film her parts then. Right. That way we can just simply splice those bits in. Okay. So, I'm hoping that's that case, because I really want her to stay with Walking Dead for years. I doubt, I doubt they're going to yeah. write, write her off. We also heard that Danny Elfman is doing the score for Justice League, mm -hmm. which is amazing, Okay. That is incredible. I'm excited about that. We also had another rumor that they may do the Clone Saga in one of the Spider-Man sequels with the Jackal, with the Scarlet Spider, with that, okay, Kane. If they're going to do that, if they're going to do that, they need it's to be like, three. Yeah, it needs to be the third one. Yeah, because this whole Iron Man four, five, sixty-eight thing with the Homecoming. It needs to. I'm sorry. It needs to. They need to have a loner thing with two, and then they can go with the clone saga with three. Now I just saw. I got the new Secret uh, Empire, and I gotta tell you, I can't believe I'm gonna admit this, but so far there's stuff going on in this comic that is just some of this stuff is cool. I gotta say it's weird. It's just weird stuff, man. I don't want to give a spoiler out here yet. I want to come with you out for a while. But it was, I really like something that happened in this comic. It was really interesting. Um, so that's it. Um, also, Wonder Woman is doing amazing. Yes. And the, gal who, and the gal who was directing and producing it really didn't want the, this gal Vidal to be Wonder Woman, if, uh, as, we've been, as I've been reading here and there. Yeah, so Wonder Woman is she's got in 460 million so that she's probably gonna have 500 million in a day yeah i'm gonna say yeah she's gonna at least be up to five i'm gonna say five and a half by saturday 5.5 at least by saturday because that what i love that that was a good movie and they and they put it together just perfectly which proves my point they actually did what I always love to do. They made a good movie, and yep. they allowed the, the viewing audience to make it a great movie. Mummy's doing better, 181. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, have you have you gotten to see that yet? No. I, hopefully, is, I got to see it on the weekend. They they are planning it. I know. I think people are going in expecting it to be an actual true horror flick, and it's right. turning out to be more of an action flick or a thriller, and. To me, it's a good movie. And Russell, oh, and Russell Crowe, I'm sorry, he makes the movie. He does, right? He okay. makes the movie. Yes. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy has an 836. 
um, which is amazing. And also we have, um, what was the other movie I was looking at? 620 million, I think. Uh, is it Pirates? Six, I'm sorry, 604 million for Pirates. So that that's already, you know, it did what it had to do, basically. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that. It's, um, that it's money. So. Alien Covenant was the big issue, and that's uh, 182 million, and that's dying fast, guys. So it's wow. it's not that much longer. The lifespan is almost over about a week, and we're done with Alien Covenant. And, ho and hopefully Bloom Camp will step in and do something with it. He probably he probably have to build not, himself up first. Yeah. 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 Scott needs to. I'm sorry. Let the reins go and let Bloom Camp come in and do what he wanted to do. Yeah. Really, Scott needs to like go. Baywatch has 102 million, which is better. Better chances for a sequel if it can yeah. make. Um, That's one of those little uh, little fun summertime movies. Yeah. For those people who they they're not into superheroes, they're not into uh, horror flicks. Right. So that was just something people can go in to see. So. Yeah. Um, and I guess let's see what else. I think that's it for those things. Now there was some articles today about X Men casting. Yeah. Um, I something. guess Leandra of the Shi'ar Empire. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep, she's coming to Earth looking for the Phoenix uh, Phoenix entity and. The uh, well, that's what they're gonna do. She's gonna come to Earth rather than them, them go there. Yeah, it would get too expensive. Yeah, if uh, if they went there, so yeah, she's coming to Earth looking for the Phoenix entity, and the old so they're using the, the three primaries, of course, uh, Magneto, Charles, and um, and uh, Missy, yeah, okay. Somebody was talking about says, okay, if they're gonna focus on those three. What about the minor characters, which the story was also centering around? Right. So, was she signed that actress? I'm trying to find that. I don't remember. I just I just skimmed over it after I listened to a little bit of it on a on YouTube. Yeah. Well, well when Chris comes in, we'll uh, we'll talk about it more. We'll go into details. Um, there's not going to be a Defenders Avengers crossover. One of the mall bosses said, absolutely not, I guess. So that's not a good thing. That's pretty bad. Um, hmm. There's uh, the Crooked Man from The Conjuring 2 is going to get a, a spinoff. So, that should be interesting. Yeah. Simon Kingberg is, is going to do The Dark Phoenix, which... I wonder how that's going to be. I'm still wondering who's going to be playing Mastermind who's, who warps and distorts Gene's mind. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be in it? No, I'm just wondering if they do go that route, I wonder if th who they're going to get to play uh, play him. All right. I know we're jumping here and there. Um, we, we also got um, – or should I wait for this article? Um, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait for Chris to come in. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it. Short and sweet to the points. Uh, we will be back with the Red Hogan's cast. Take care. Bye for now.